Uh, my name is Christina Trigesca. The teams that I support in team football are, of course, home green team, Western Sydney Wanderers. Um, same with the W League team, also go for the Wanderers. For Europe, it, it's, a, it's a range of teams, so along the lines of Borussia Dortmund, Red Star Belgrade, Newcastle United, and so on. A, a couple more, but you know, if I list them all, we'll be here all day. Uh, definitely the Socceroos, and also uh, way back home in Macedonia. Uh, I never really gave a damn about football until the age of 17 though. I've been attending matches off and on since I was seven years old, but once again, the interest didn't spark until 17. My best memory of football, that's the 17 year old story. <laughs> so that's the big FFA Cup between Rockdale City and Milton Victor, and that was the night that sparked the love for football in me. And since then, I've just wanted to do everything I can possible with it, within a career, within attending matches, within doing something for the game. I love that Australia has welcomed football in with open arms. Uh, I know it has been tough throughout the last, you know, 50 odd years or so on, but it's growing. It's still not the most popular sport here in this country. It's not as popular as it is everywhere else, but it's growing, it's getting there, and I'm glad it is getting there, but at the same time, there are people within the industry here in Australia who don't favour the sport and are the main reason why it's taken so long. Quite honestly, Looking at Graham Arnold and what I think of him now that he's been um, put in as the manager, as, as a Socceroos manager, as a Wanderers fan, can't stand him. But looking at what he did with Sydney FC, also with the Central Coast Mariners before that, he did, he did such an amazing job with both squads who were struggling at the time. I had faith in him for what he was going to do with the national team. But at the same time, I was on the fence and caught in the middle because we had uh, Bert Van Marwijk who is a serious manager at the same time had serious skill in managing. I had a lot more faith in him than I did in Graham, but at the same time, you know, I saw what he did with Sydney FC. I had faith with him with the national team. The international breaks, a lot of people get pissed off, of course, because they're not, it's like two weeks basically off of not watching your club play, but at the same time, I don't see anything wrong with it. At that time, you're getting a lot of players who are from a different nationality going to play for the country. It's a proud moment for them. At the same time, it's a moment where they're developing a lot more, so they're playing at a higher level. They're not playing for just club anymore, they're playing for an entire nation. So do you think Australia should have more international games, more international home games? Yes, they should. And that's how you're going to grow the football here. If people are here to see their country play, for God's sakes. They're not here to watch it on the damn TV screen all the time. It's a beautiful game. It really is. It lives up to that its name, The Beautiful Game, for many reasons. Not just, it's not just a 90 minute game, it's a lifesaver. And to go back to that, it's something that got my family through a lot of hell and hatred and war and poverty back in Macedonia. It was a sanctuary as well as a pastime. And it's the same for me here, even though I'm now in Australia and thank God, in a way, I'm free from what they had to go through, but it still hits home and it's a lifesaver for me too. Even though I'm not in a war, I'm basically in you know, the first world problem wars. Yeah, it's helping me through a lot and I owe it.